We're going to head back out to Steve Nielsen for that Fox 10 News alert. He's been out there for the better part of two and a half hours now. A big police presence right at the 101 in McDowell. Steve, are you learning any new information? Yeah, there's been a big change here in just the last 10 to 15 minutes. I'll step aside. You're going to see um, a large group of officers here in a conversation. It looks somewhat like a debrief. They have just opened up the roads again. This is McDowell here in 95th Ave, and they have just opened up McDowell in the last five to 10 minutes. It also appears the highway 101 here has also reopened and they've moved officers from surrounding this sort of berm area where they've been in for the last two and a half hours, and they've all started to huddle up over here. What that means, whether or not an arrest was made, that's not clear. Let's kind of set the scene here and remember why these officers are here. Phoenix police, they tell us that two officers had pulled a car over for a traffic related incident during that moment. And we're right here. Um, it was right here on 95th Avenue next to the Courtyard Marriott right here. Um, so at first we thought maybe uh, it was something involving the hotel, but no, it looks like it's the berm that's right next to the hotel um, as Justin kind of takes that shot for us right now. So uh, they were doing this traffic related in, uh, pull over when all of a sudden these two officers um, reported what believed to be gunfire directed at them. They thought the gunfire was directed at them. That's when they called everyone in like this and put out that call. No officers were hit during that gunfire, uh, and that was when they surrounded this berm area. They called in the Phoenix police helicopter, which circled overhead for about an hour and a half. That Phoenix helicopter uh, through loudspeakers started blaring out. Come out with your hands up. We have a canine. He will bite you. Um, during that process is when we saw this tape video here that you're seeing right now. This was just about an hour ago, a little over an hour ago that this happened, where we saw these officers go into this berm area searching for this suspect with their guns drawn. A few minutes after that, they withdrew from the area and they uh, they had one officer uh, being held up by two other officers. It appeared though he had kind of twisted his ankle. Nothing, uh, nothing serious. He kind of had a smile on his face. He seemed fine, but they transported him from the scene here. And then while we were live uh, at nine o'clock, the Phoenix helicopter came back and they went in. So during that process, we heard some pop noise, about 15 pops, and we did see some officers with less lethal weapons uh, running around in this area. Uh, those popping noises, it didn't sound like gunfire. Uh, it was definitely different than gunfire. And again, we did see those less lethal weapons. And a few minutes after that, after we heard those pops, that was when the scene changed and we saw these officers come over here uh, and have this debrief. Uh, not clear if an arrest has been made, though. We don't have that confirmed from Phoenix police right now. We've obviously reached out for them, waiting for that information. But a significant change here in just the last 10 minutes after um, a three hour uh, uh, a situation where they had surrounded this berm trying to find someone that they believe had fired uh, these gunshots towards officers. So a lot more information still to gather here, but the roads are open. This berm is no longer surrounded and the Phoenix helicopter has left. So it looks like it's pretty much all clear for now, Ty. Well, Steve, that is a huge police presence behind you. So great reporting out there. We, of course, are going to keep following this and we'll have updates online and then in later editions of Fox 10. Steve, thanks for your live report. Time now, 946. We'll be right back.